Today's video comes to you from Gongai Games. Visit their in-store location or visit them online at gongai.com. Now taking pre-orders for Spark of Hope, releasing July 5th. Use discount code COMMANDO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Hello everyone and welcome to Dice Commando. This is round two of the final standard tournament of the Convergence meta at Gongai Games in Portland, Oregon, USA. On our left we have Alex. He's playing Elite Jabba, Wat Tambor, Sentinel on Thede Palace. He's playing a three wide supports. On our right we have Andrew. Andrew's playing Beckett, Iden, and he is on military camp. So it probably goes to Andrew here. Not a great roll, but does take it. So playing on military camp. One shield goes on to Watt, one shield goes on to the Sentinel. Andrew opens up with a conscript. It's very good. Conscript comes in with a leader. Both of Andrew's characters are, of course, leaders. So we see a probe. Oh, that's actually what Alex is going to play. So we saw a probe. There's a motive in there as well. So Alex will look at two random cards. Gets two events. So it looks at random cards, discards any other event, which both of them were. It was a pretty good pull. All right, so Andrew will power action military camp. He brings in two characters to share a subtype. Then if one of them's a trooper, re-roll the die. However, he just rolled two two guns on Iden, so he won't be re-rolling. And then he brings in the camp, which rolls a one gun. Not bad. Actually, not better than not bad. It's fantastic. All right, so Sentinel comes in with a one focus, looks at the top card of his deck, and chooses not to play it. So no reason Andrew doesn't just resolve guns here. Nope, so Andrew disrupts first. Alex does have the motive. I believe that's a motive. I saw a motive and a delve. Andrew knows he's trying to go for money, so doing the disrupt was perhaps a smart play. Alex probably won't have any issue getting money, especially with that focus out there. But All right, So Jabba comes in with a one disrupt and a one disrupt, and he'll look at the top four cards of his deck as per Jabba's ability, and he can pull a yellow event, or a bounty of course, but not likely many bounties in here. And then well connected. Back to Andrew. Now Andrew will put the damage in. He goes for Watt. Watt generally should be the target in these type of decks. So take six net with the shield. Back to Alex here. All right, Alex will disrupt Andrew's last dollar. Andrew will pass. Alex will bring in Watt. Watt gets the one dollar. Right, focus to the two money probably. Yep. Back to Andrew. Andrew passes. Alex will take his three dollars. So I see a delve and a megas, but he has enough to just hard cast the megas. So probably won't delve. Yep, so just hard cast the Megas. Andrew's still passing, hasn't claimed yet, but now with the money spent, I think Andrew claims here. All right, so he's power actioning, each gains one, so Andrew does have something to play here. All right, Megas will come in, spotting a leader, so actually both Jabba and Water leaders, that's what's really good about this deck, it has two leaders. All right, so it rolls in the two dice. It's a gun, a money, and a two disrupt. All right, Andrew plays his other conscript just to set himself up for the next turn. So Alex is looking at what to pitch to reroll. He does have a vandalize. I could actually see vandalizing a conscript here. Okay, so he shoots Beckett for 1-2. Andrew will roll in his conscript so he can get lucky. He gets a modified side. Does have a card for reroll if he wants. Okay, Alex takes a dollar. 
Andrew will probably just get Andrew's claims. Alright, there's a well connected. Andrew gets to draw a card. Alex gains a dollar. Does he pitch to reroll? And so drop vandalized to reroll, looking for damage. Right? Does the three indirect, so Andrew puts uh, one into Beckett and two into Iden. Alright, and we'll go into the next round. So Alex has five, the magic five for Fist. Andrew has his two. And clean up the board, and then Andrew will get us started. Alright, so Andrew will open with the power action on military camp, roll in his characters. Yep, no re-roll on Iden for sure with the two gun and the two focus. And then a plus two. Oh my goodness, what a roll. Alright, Andrew was doing that with his hands to indicate which die belonged to which conscript. Alright, so there's motive for not sure, but it wasn't wasn't ranged. Or sorry, it wasn't uh disrupt. It was likely ranged. Okay, so it is Andrew's action. He's deciding how to do this here. Okay, so he kills Watt and then puts four into Jabba. Back to Alex. Alex will roll in his messenger. Looks does not play. I believe that's the shield. A little bit of glare there, but yes, it is the shield. All right, Andrew just power action, so everybody gained a dollar. Andrew doesn't really mind giving Alex a dollar at this point. All right, job will come in. A blank and a blank, but he'll still look at the top four. You do see a Forsaken, but he can't pull that, so he shows the Delve, so Delve will go into his hand. So now Alex has two Delves in his hand, likely does not need both of them. All right, so Andrew just played Slave 1 for 1, 2, 3. So the power action on Slave 1 is interesting, so you can power action it to reroll one of your yellow dice. It doesn't have to be the Slave 1 die, and then you can remove a die equal to the value showing on that die. All right, so Megas comes in, spotting Jabba as a leader. It's a blank a two gun and the two disrupt again, and that's the two for one. All right, slave one rolls in with a two gun. All right, so that's a that was not a delve play, that was a pitch to reroll. Alright, so we get a money, a one focus on the sentinel, a blank, a disrupt, and a discard on Jabba. Alright, so Andrew pitched a re-roll. Or sorry, sorry, Andrew power actioned. And then removed. He rolled a 2 on Beckett, and then removed a 2, dice on a 2. And time for Alex to doubt before he takes some damage here. Yep. Alright, gets a blank, so it gets removed. Right. Andrew puts two more into Jabba, puts him at six with four health remaining. Pitch to re-roll here. The one focus stays on the table. There's some blanks, but he does have guns. Do you remember Jabba has a two? All right, so Andrew's sinister pieces to get rid of the two gun on the Megas. Sinister piece is sinister piece with a subdue. All right, back to Alex here. Alex is likely looking at another reroll. I mean, well, actually, he could focus to the two focus. Nope, Alex is just going to claim. Andrew will pitch to reroll, see if he can get lucky. 
gets a discard, which he'll pitch one of Alex's cards. And he gets a Forsaken. All right, and then we reset. So Alex has all the money in the world. He actually is using a shield token as money. And Alex has first strike here. It'll slow Andrew down a bit, but not much with those conscripts. Alex has not been able to get his engine going. He's only done five damage this game. All right, let's see if we can see what he drew here. I think I saw a planetary uprising in there. So, all right, so Jabba comes in with a disrupt, disrupt. Look at the top four. All right, no good to me dead goes to hand. Probably not very useful to him at this point, but it is just a card for reroll if he needs it. All right, so Andrew plays the tie for two. He will, is he saying he's not gonna tutor? It pull in a tie, so the tie when it comes in allows you to pull a tie from your deck. And then the tie does have ambush. And get the cut, and then Andrew will take his ambush action here. All right, so he's actually going to lead with Slave 1, get a yellow die in the pool to power action if he needs to. All right, there's Del for one, two, three. Dill himself an indirect, which he takes on the shield. Well, yep, there we go. And then let's see what he wants to play. It's probably that planetary. Yep, planetary does have ambush, so Alex will bring it in. It's the four disrupt, which doesn't do him any good right now. He can disrupt for days. All right, so Andrew will bring in Iden and the conscripts. It's a blank and a blank on the conscripts. And Iden is a discard and a two, oh, two focus, not bad. All right, Sentinel comes in. And he'll get to look at the top of his deck. Sentinel does get a blank. He's going to go ahead and just play the probe. Riot shield and riot shield and a tie. So no events discarded. All right, Andrew brings in Beckett. We see a three for one and a three for one, which looks good, but Andrew can't pay for them. So now he does still have the Beckett power action available, of course. All right, Megas come in, spotting Jabba as a leader. Andrew was hoping he could blow Jabba down before rolling it or before that came in, but it did not work out. Alex thinking over what he wants to do here. Yep, he is going to bring in the Megas. So they come in with all three dice. Okay, a two for one, a two, and a blank. So Andrew will power action slave one gets a one, or sorry, a three. So that's the three for one, so there's nothing to remove. It does have to be a die that equals. And then Alex brings in another Megas, and Andrew is going to be in trouble here. That's what this die deck does. It ramps like crazy. All right, so Andrew pitches a tie to reroll, leaves the focus, and rerolls everything else, it looks like. Okay, three for one again, but he does get a one focus out of it. The item two focus is still on the table. All right, Megas comes in with a blank, a blank, and a one gun. All right, so Beckett is going to be in trouble here. We've got one, two, three, four, five. All right, so focus first. Yep, guns everywhere, but let's see what Alex can do here. This Alex can't kill quite yet unless he has something up his sleeve. Alright, so he's going to pitch to re-roll, so Andrew will, I mean, Alex is going to take the hit here, there's no reason Andrew wouldn't. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
All right, Alex's reroll. There's a lot of blanks in there, but it's actually not bad because he got a two focus. And he got the two melee. We're also looking at well, still a four disrupt, but again, that two focus. So it's not a horrible. It, it looks bad with all the blanks, but it's not a horrible roll. All right, so Andrew resolve. Jabba dies, and then four into the Sentinel. And now Andrew's going to take his beating. Alex thinking it over. So it will cost him his dollar. I think he's pulling that out because he's thinking about a reroll here. Wait, but he's going to resolve guns first. Okay, so Beckett's one away from dead. The Sentinel will be able to put him down. Andrew rolls in his tie. It's a two indirect. Back to Alex here. Probably pitches to. I mean, I think there's no probably about it. He has to try to get some sort of. Yes, I mean he's got to, right? All right. There's pitch to re-roll. The two, of course, stays out. We see a blank and a blank, but the four indirect on the planetary. And so Andrew's going to doubt it. So there's pay sides on that. That's why Andrew's doubting, but did not. He got the five natural, so actually went into, took one additional, which he'll put all on to Iden, and then now it's Alex's action. So that did not work for Andrew, but. All right, Beckett goes down with the two. Andrew will hit back for two indirect, putting the Sentinel at six, which is two away from death. But Aiden is only five away from death, which Alex can certainly do. I think Alex claims to get in front, right? Yep, that's what he'll do. And Andrew just has to pass because he has nothing left. So, so Andrew will have to roll out. So the planetary can has multiple sides, which can kill Iden here. So Andrew's got a pitch for control and hope for a miss on the planetary, and then hope he can move in Iden for the kill. Yep, because Planetary's coming out. That's, of course, the smart play. Gets the four disrupt again. All right, so now Andrew has freedom to bring in Aiden and the Conscripts. He does not hit, though. He gets blue sides, but he doesn't have any base sides, so... there's Now, do you remember, there's no leader to spot here. But Andrew only needs to do two damage... Oh, so no leader to spot. Should only be coming in with two dice. No, that's a miss, gentlemen. Come on, you guys are better than that. All right, so Andrew will reach the stars. He's not worried about it. So we are on Andrew's battlefield. So the way this card works is you get to reroll two dice with ambush, and if you're on your battlefield, then you can roll two more. But Andrew gets it right away. So that'll finish. Nicely done, Andrew. If you like what we're doing here on the Dice Commando channel, please show your support with a like and a subscribe. Please remember to keep all comments civil and constructive and to help us continue to grow this amazing community. Thank you for watching Dice Commando.